What's up everybody and welcome to another video. Today I want to make a short video. Um, I had mentioned this on Twitter, uh, which is at Seabolt Speaks, which you can follow me there, or on Instagram, that's S-E-A-B-O-L-T-S-P-E-A-K-S. -E um, so Afrikaans, that is kind of what I'm targeting right now. And um, the lack of resources has actually helped me progress a little bit further. Now I know that that sounds like a complete ridiculous thing to say, but from where I've only got, there's about two sources that I use regularly and then um, like that I learn, use to learn and then I'll like watch videos or something like that. Um, but the main sources I use to learn are uh, an app called Masterling, which is set up kind of like Duolingo. Um, and it's just kind of that matching and selecting sentences and stuff like that. And then I use an app called Mondly, which has a ton of languages as well. Both of these apps are helping me learn some vocabulary and a little bit of sentence structure. I don't necessarily know enough to speak now, but I can ask a couple of basic things like, who can dit mit yo? Like, how are you? Or like, I can say like, I have a son. But um, other than that, like just being able to focus on that instead of getting sidetracked, like I don't have Link, I don't have Duolingo, it's not on Drops. Um, I can't really find a good memorized course yet um, because I'm still getting accustomed to the sounds of the language. So therefore I can't read a word and automatically know how it's pronounced. Like I kind of do, but I like the audio right now just while I'm getting into the language. Um, and so it's actually helped me a lot because I can concentrate and then I can just hone in on that and then constantly review and then keep going forward. And honestly, I think that that has helped a lot because I do get to the point where um, say I'm studying, you know, whatever language we'll use Spanish and I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to do Duolingo and then I'm going to do the memorize course and then I'm going to use a little bit of Mango languages and then I'm going to use a little bit of uh, Lingo Deer and then I'm going to use a little bit of link and then I'm going to use a little bit of drops like I, I and I go over the same stuff which helps that stuff stick but I never really progress in language Spanish isn't a good example because I speak a little bit of Spanish but um as far as new languages like there's so much stuff that sometimes you can get a little overwhelmed so it's hard to make yourself not use those other sources but learning Afrikaans um has taught me that if I really just focus on a couple of sources pick two or three you can make a lot further advancements. Now, obviously I can make advancements a little bit quicker as well because I speak English and it's super similar to English, but still having those couple of sources. Um, Masterling and Monly have a ton of languages. Um, they have your standard languages, but then again, they're some of the very few resources I found that'll have some of the more, um, not obscure languages, but languages that aren't studied by millions and millions and millions of people, um, such as uh, Afrikaans. So that is super, super cool. So, um, but other than that, I just wanted to make that brief video. Let me know, uh, you know, down below what you think about that or, you know, how many sources you use. If you use a ton, maybe this is something that can help you. I know a lot of people know that they should pick just a couple of sources, but a lot of people love to have their hand kind of in a ton of different pots. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next video. Tot scenes.